Hello. Welcome to another Grow Cycle tutorial video. I'm really pleased to actually have something growing here in my apartment, um, and the experiment's going well. Um, so what I did is I got one of these A3 boxes, which I use, which I get as um, containing my, all of my stationery at school, and I use that to um, kind of protect the tray. And then I've got 16 plants, although a couple of them have more than one seed germinating in them. And I brought, I just carried them home from school, so that was about a 10 minute walk. So these are portable, it's my highly portable garden, and I brought it right next to my hose. Why is that? Because in the mornings I, I don't often have time to do a whole lot of watering. I could have made a very easy, easy to make watering can, even just get a, a water bottle and poke some holes in the bottom. But I decided, even easier, one just goes straight to the source. So all I do is just put it onto a drip, so it's literally just a trickle because we don't want to displace the seeds we don't want in fact that might even be a little bit too much let me just show you if you can see the hose there literally just a dribble that's what we want so we don't want to displace the seeds we do not want to damage the uh, the root in particular the root needs to be firm while the seedling is just at its initial germination stage so as you can see I'm just going to drip the water over very gently and probably not adjacent not directly over the top of the seed that's germinating if possible so we can see very good germination rate um, the only things which aren't all germinated are my beetroot and the, the one in the front is definitely well germinated my lettuces are going like clappers just going nuts you can see here my lettuce is looking really good sorry about the wonky uh, camera angles sometimes it's hard to get those right but I'll just uh, show you a little bit closer once I'm done watering. Um, but basically, the germination rates are looking really good. My garden is looking like it's going to be productive. I've got a good feeling about this. So, um, yeah, because these are quite big containers, so they'll be able to go for, I'd say, a good at least two more weeks, at least, probably more than that. Um, and after that, I can transplant them probably one more time um, and get a fairly a modest to, to decent... Um, harvest eventually um, from just containers just as long as I've got big enough containers is the thing so uh, the deeper the container the better so anyway um, I'll just show you the germination rates a little bit better hopefully. let me give you a closer look at my container garden so you can see here in this first row are my lettuce they're growing like gangbusters each and every container's got at least two um, germinated seedlings here we see my silver beet which is looking quite professional if I do say so myself one seedling at least, right bang on center in the middle of each container, looking very good. Here we see the beetroot, and although you can't really see it, there is just, just starting to take root in these containers, so they're looking good. And this one's actually showing its cotyledons, its first two leaves. And my radishes, which are also looking alright, it's kind of hard to see, but if I come up really close, you should be able to see now, there's that little green shoot right there there we go what's our focus and these two containers are looking great too with my radishes and you can just see the root that little red thing sticking out right there now on my fennel and mint which were grown from well which i attempting i'm attempting to grow from wild seed nothing yet so hopefully that's given you a glimpse into my container garden mobile brought it all the way in from school and there's something really special choice about growing from seed and you know so just sublime that feeling when you know the, the seedling just emerges from the soil and you know that you've grown this thing from scratch so um yeah really excited to to uh, actually have my own little patch here in, in my apartment no soil nothing no no land to grow it on just containers so no excuses not to give it a shot yourself, except for time, which I acknowledge is a big deal. Now I'm starting to learn that. Anyway, stay smiling, and I'll catch you later. Cheers. 